Hey, a couple of minutes before I head out to work here. Watching uh, some of these uh, news networks right now talking about the shootings again. And I'm just appalled by some of the people holding up signs saying, uh, dump Trump, dump Trump, you know, blaming Trump for all these shootings. Hate is not a Dayton, Ohio value, you know, Dayton strong, dump Trump. Hashtag do something. <sighs> Blaming Trump for everything when it's not, it's not Trump's fault. Oh, where's one saying we can end gun violence? The way to end gun violence is to talk to the people who have the tendencies to pick up guns instead of their problems. Settling bullets, using bullets as well as settling uh, whichever personal demon they have inside. And they're blaming Trump for this. Of course, the idea these people are like, whoa, well, Trump is a Republican. Republicans are about using guns for every assault, baby, problem that's out there. No, it's not. Don't blame Trump for these shootings. Blame the motherfuckers who picked up the guns and started shooting in the first place. This will be the last time I uh, speak of this because it's getting to be endless. It's getting to be fucking stupid. It's getting to be fucking retarded. I'll see this for the last and final time. Gun control should not be regulated by the government. It should be regulated by the person who owns it. Don't blame Donald Trump for those shootings. Blame the motherfucker who pulled the trigger once or more than twice. And don't buy into these so-called uh, politicians who uh, says, oh, Trump's a racist, Trump is that. No. Unless Trump ordered genocide upon a particular race, unless he ordered execution of those migrants, unless he ordered all immigrants, whether it's or anybody of a different race, whether it's Japanese, African American, or any of that, to be to be routed up and taken back to their home countries unless he is a provoked to that or a ordered that then he's not a racist think about that I'm not exactly uh, happy about the guy myself but he's still our president and still give him the respect that he deserves as an elected official but sadly, these fuckers who grew up in the 1990s, you know, believing that everything should be liberal, everything should be, um, you know, I'm planning on cutting a good ass promo against these motherfuckers. I'm from the 70s and 80s. Things were a lot different back then. Back then, you could have uh, different political views, uh, have a little debate, but then again, still be buddies and have a beer with one another, watch a football game afterwards. Nowadays, he can't do that. And it pisses me off. It pisses off, pisses off everybody in our family. My sister, my brother-in-law. We're all fucking appalled by this shit. <sighs> Man. 
And I hope people who are watching this video should, uh, should learn from this. Yeah, hold on to your political values, but don't preach them down people's throats. I'm going to do this. I'm Dr. Earl. I got to get to work, man. I am disgusted right now. I'll see you cats later. Probably make a video later on tonight when I get home from work. Subscribe to my channel. Leave the comments below. I'll see you later.